and I didn't know what it was at first. And my partner just screamed, "Are you okay? Are you okay?" And I'm like, "I think I'm I think I'm alive, so I think I'm okay." And I'm like, my face was wet, and I didn't know what that was. And I was like, "Am I bleeding?" And he was like, "No, you're not bleeding. That's snow." It's the last thing you'd think would happen to you while driving underneath an overpass, a big piece of ice falling through your windshield. Well, it happened to one couple. I'm Brandon Rowe in Toronto with their story and their stern warning for drivers. And this so, is kind of the aftermath. That's the aftermath. That's our car parked at the Nordstrom Valley parking. What was supposed to be a night out to do some Boxing Day shopping took a scary turn for Millie Boella and her partner. We're just going under the overpass, Flemington Road overpass. And just, we were, I was talking to my partner, and the next thing I knew, it was just like something had exploded. The couple believes someone threw a block of ice from the overpass that eventually smashed through their car windshield and landed on Boella's lap. The sides of the overpass were clean, so it didn't look, it feel like anything could have dropped just, you know, randomly out of nature or anything. Millie says the piece of ice that hit her car is similar to this block that is still found on the side of the road. But she says, it could have been a lot worse. Last night, there weren't that many cars on the road. I feel like we were so lucky there was no cars behind us or in front of us. The city says they have a 24-hour crew that patrols the streets to make sure the roads are clear and that there is no ice hanging from bridges. When it comes to individuals that are, you know, throwing anything off of a bridge or an overpass, um, there's, there's no excuse uh, uh, as to what you can do to enforce common sense. And that's just, you know, unfortunate. But we're happy to go out and take a look and, and see if it's something that the city can rectify. The city says also check your wheel wells for snow that can eventually form ice chunks. Somehow the couple walked away from this accident without any major injuries, but fear this could happen again. We need something that can kill somebody, and I don't, if it was a child who did it, I think, I don't think that was their, would be their intention, but to be like, don't do that. You know, and also as a warning to drivers in that area, just watch out. The good news is, is that the window has been replaced, but Millie and her partner wanted to share their story to warn other drivers that this unfortunate situation can easily happen to them as well. So they want them to be alert while on the roads. Now we received this story from a viewer. If you have anything that you'd like us to look into, here are some of the ways you can contact us. In Toronto, Brandon Rose, City News.